Hey, Tyler Ford here, Tucson, Arizona, EXP Realty, and welcome to this episode of Living in Tucson, your Tucson Real Estate Connection. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about the phone line trail in Sabino Canyon. I'm getting an early start this morning, and I'm gonna be showing you uh, Sabino Canyon and the phone line trail. So when doing uh, Sabino Canyon, the phone line trail, the one thing uh, you need to be aware of, there is a fee to get in and I get an annual pass, which gets me into all the parks, Grand Canyon. The other thing I like about this pass is it gets me into Saguaro National Park East and I spend a lot of time there as well. So be prepared to get in. The daily rate right now, as of this recording, is $8 to get in. Uh, but if you're in Tucson and you spend a lot of time here, uh, it makes sense to get an annual pass to get in. So when hiking or running the phone line trail, uh, there's a lot of different combinations you can do. Some people stay on the trail and they do an out and back. Others, uh, what I like to do is do a loop where I do it counterclockwise, where I go up the phone line trail and then down Sabino Canyon. So the phone line trail uh, is all dirt, it's a trail, and then coming down Sabino Canyon is, uh, is paved. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways to do it. You can do an out and back or do a loop. Uh, this morning, what I'm gonna show you is doing the loop counterclockwise going up the trail and then down Sabino Canyon. So on the video, I don't know if you can see it, but right about here, uh, you can see the phone line trail. And uh, it's, you start out in the parking lot and you run or hike about 0.8 of a mile, almost a mile to the trailhead. And then you've got um, a steady climb for a little over a mile and then it kind of flattens out. Uh, so a lot of the runners too, at the beginning, it's, it's a little steep. So you're doing a power hike or a walk. And then once it flattens out, a lot of people run that section all the way to the road and then come down. So going to go ahead and get started and uh, show you the phone line trail in Sabino Canyon. So from the parking lot to the trailhead, it's exactly 0.8 miles. And so I just hit the trailhead up a uh, phone line. At 1.4 miles from Sabino Canyon up the trail, uh, you're gonna hit uh, the Blackett's Trailhead, which is right here. It's a really popular hike. Uh, it's an out and back. It's really, really steep, uh, but there's some great views. And at some point I will do a video on Blackett's. But if you're looking for Blackett's, uh, it's the same trail going out and at 1.4 miles, uh, kicks you up to Blackett's and Blackett's is about a six mile round trip. It's a mountain back, but uh, another great, great hike to do. Uh, it's pretty steep. It's not really that runnable just because it's so steep. But once you get up, up uh, the trail towards the tail end, uh, it, it, it flattens out and uh, is runnable. So Blackett's 1.4, there's the trailhead and I'm going to keep going uh, right here. That's the phone line. So phone line uh, kicks you up into Sabino Canyon and it's a ridge line that uh, parallels uh, Sabino Canyon. So I'm um, about 2.4 miles up the phone line trail and uh, the first 0.8 is flat until you get to the trailhead and then you're going to be climbing and at about 2.4 it then flattens out. Uh, but Sabino Canyon is uh, right there. The views are absolutely incredible and uh, we're going to be going all the way. Phone line trail ends right about up in there and then it's uh, three miles down Sabino Canyon back to the parking lot. Uh, but again, the views are absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's really pretty and can't wait to get down in the canyon because there is water. We've had a lot of rain this summer and uh, I'm going to be getting wet. I'm going to be uh, running across the bridges that uh, have some water overflow and uh, going to have fun running through the water. I'd like to talk about why I love the phone line. There's so many reasons. Uh, and I'll try to hit the majority of them. But uh, first reason why I like the phone line, especially in the summertime and also the winter, it's in a box canyon and there's not a lot of sun exposure. Uh, so I get an early start and by the time you get done and coming out of Sabino Canyon, the sun is just cresting into the canyon. So you don't get beat up by the sun, winter, summer, it doesn't matter the time of the year. I got a six o'clock start this morning and uh, I'll be protected pretty much the whole, uh, almost the whole, uh, probably eight miles, the last mile coming in, you're coming out of the canyon. Second reason I like it, especially in the summertime, is that 
in all of 30 years, and this is a disclaimer, as soon as I say this, I'll probably see one today, is that I've never ever seen a rattlesnake uh, on the phone line trail, which to me is just amazing because in the summertime, especially out in Saguaro National Park, I do a lot out there, there's just tons and tons of rattlesnakes. You gotta be really careful. Uh, so disclaimer, uh, they're still out there. You gotta be careful, especially in the summertime. In the wintertime, they disappear. Third reason I really like it, and this is more in the summertime, when we get a lot of rain in the, in the summer, a lot of our trails get overgrown by like Bermuda grass and just all sorts of stuff and you get itchy and I get, I get hives because I'm, I'm allergic to that stuff. But the phone line trail uh, doesn't get overgrown, uh, which, is, which is awesome. Uh, another reason I love it is that uh, the views are absolutely amazing. The phone line trail parallels Sabino Canyon and the views are epic. Uh, it's super quiet for the most part when you're on the phone line trail before you get to Sabino Canyon. You're not going to see a whole lot of people. You might bump into one or two, maybe three people uh, along the trail. So you're not going to see a lot of people. Another reason I like it is it's a good mixture. Uh, you got a little bit of everything. You got trail, you got climbing, you got some flats on the trail, and then you get to come three miles down pavement. Uh, so you get a you get a mixture of everything uh, when you're doing the phone line. And it's just a good place to be for me. It gets my head in the right place. It's just really pretty. Also, uh, like right now, when we get into Sabino Canyon, depending on the time of the year, there's monsoons, there's water in the canyon in the winter. When we get snow and the snow melt, uh, you're, there's gonna be water in Sabino Canyon, which makes for some just really pretty views. Uh, you're gonna get a little bit wet depending on the time of the year. It's just water, even in the winter. Uh, run through it, have fun with it. And uh, I like to splash through it, which we're gonna do uh, as I'm coming down. So those are my reasons. It's probably a lot more reasons. Curious if you've ever done the phone line, what, why do you like it? And uh, if you've never done it and you've got questions, you can always comment below and uh, be more than happy to answer. I've lost track. I mean, I've been doing it for over 30 years and I don't know, if I were to guess, probably done the phone line, I don't know, two, 300 times. I, I've, I've totally lost track, but uh, those are my reasons. I'm sure there's a lot more. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. This is one of my favorite views on the phone line trail. And uh, it's one of those things, uh, you take a picture or video and you show it to somebody on your phone or share it on social media and it just doesn't do it justice. Well, this is that, you gotta get up here to experience. But in the distance there, there's Tucson way in the back is Tucson Mountains. And then you can't even see it, but you can see downtown Tucson from here as well. Uh, but again, this, this spot, uh, I'm at about uh, 3.75 miles up the trail and uh, it is awesome and the view at about 3.7 miles uh, you can see you can see Tucson in the background and it's a beautiful view. So I finished up uh, the phone line section on the trail and now I'm at the top of the Sabino Canyon uh, Sabino Canyon Road. It's 3.7 miles back down to the parking lot and I'm going to run the majority of uh, the road. It's all paved. Uh, it's pretty much all downhill. There's a little uh, about a quarter mile little kicker at the end uh, climb to get you up and over and down into the parking lot. Uh, but uh, I think some of the uh, bridges there's a uh, I'm going to get the number wrong. There's probably about four or five bridges. And uh, again, it's September. We've got a lot of rain, monsoon season. There's water flowing and uh, probably going to get a little wet crossing some of the, uh, the bridges. Nothing better than doing the phone line in Tucson in the morning. So depending on the time of the year, some of the bridges can have water flowing over them. We've had a lot of rain this summer, like I've been saying, and uh, a couple of the bridges have water over them. And for the most part, just run through them, uh, especially in the summertime. It's it's refreshing in the wintertime, could be a little bit cool, but uh, that's the fun of it, right? So that's it, I'm done. That wraps up the phone line in Sabino Canyon and uh, back in the parking lot. And as you can see, there's a ton of cars. Another big reason to get an early start, especially in the winter time when the winter visitors are here, the parking lot can fill, fill up and uh, you won't have a place to park. So I always like to get an early start. 
Uh, but if you like this video, go ahead, give me an internet high five by liking it. You can always subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos about living in Tucson, your Tucson Real Estate Connection. And if you have any questions about Sabino Canyon or the phone line or even Blackett's Trail, comment below and uh, I'll get back to you. And in the show notes below, uh, I'll have a link to uh, the map, the profile map of the phone line so you can get a better idea of what you're getting into. But uh, again, it's an awesome hike run, uh, just a great way to check out Sabino Canyon and get some incredible views.